What is the meaning of this untimely disturbance, Captain? We're being shadowed, Your Grace. Pirates? Aye, but not of these waters. We sure as hell can't outgun her, but we may be able to run her out in that black squall. Make it so, and God be with you, Captain. Aye. All right, men, batten down the hatches. Prepare to go riding into the storm. Make way for the wind's eye, lads. What is that devil's scribble written upon her colors? It's Arabic. It says, there's no god but Zai Fang. Sea demons. Say it's gone. It is truly a miracle. God has shown us his divine mercy. Glory be thy name. Hold your praise, your grace. I believe our story is about to have a sea change. Afraid they'll be paying us a little visit. Go down below and hide in my cabin. I'll fend them off for as long as I can. Come, come with me, Your Grace. We must keep you safe. May God save us all. Hide in here, Your Excellency. Don't let me die. Your salvation depends upon it. Thanks for the abyss. I know not what you speak of. Forgive me, Empress Safing. Sure, you burn in hell for killing a man of the cloth. There is only one God. He stands before you. Captain! And these men, Empress? As you wish, my monsieur. Captain's 
Sea date, September 20th, this year of our Lord, 1,763. Hold on a moment, Oxford. I look damn dashing, don't I? You look like a man who has just crossed swords with the brutish devil himself and pierced his icy heart with the burning blades of your godly virtue. I love your phrasing, Oxford. Uh, your heroics inspire my words, my captain. Let us continue. Having successfully delivered Isabella and Manuel to their new island home, the island did not have the proper resources to mend our broken rudder completely. Thus, we set sail partially crippled to the new port. This obstacle has not disenchanted the crew. My swift and decisive victory over the infamous Victor Stagnetti has ensured that the crew's heart has been lifted tenfold, and they promise to sail with me onward to the blue heavenly sky or to the bottom of the sea in Davy Jones' locker. The performance of the crew has been exemplary. Especially woos. What? Especially woos. Woos? Why, yes, if not for woo, we'd all be dead. <laughs> but it was my clever orders, and thus we won. With all respect, sir, I do recall your words precisely, and they were, fire those cannons, woo, or we're all dead. You can understand, sir. But if I had not given the orders at precisely the right moment? Um, okay. Uh, where, uh, let's continue. And where were we? Hi, sir. Uh, the crew's exemplary... For the crew, the crew, it's, uh, been fervently practicing swordplay with Jules daily, and sometimes thrice a day. I'm amazed by their razor-sharp concentration and Jules' patience. <coughs> we have encountered a strange but wonderfully heartwarming surprise. Wu sister, Ai Chao, has ventured from the Far East by a happy-looking bunch of sailors. I have never seen so many calm and satisfied men upon one ship. She must have worked hard and vigorously to pay her passage. The purpose of Ai's visit is that she has come to bring Wu his father's book of ancient Chinese gunpowder magic. She's affectionate and loving to all she encounters. There's been a downside to Ai's presence. Wu has been very irritable, especially when Ai is giving Buddhist blessings to the crew as they work. Moments before we last set sail, we received word from Olivia, Serena's cousin, that Governor Littleton of Jamaica has issued a warrant for Serena's immediate arrest. Serena has ordered her cousin to stay aboard to protect us from any hostile forces that may be searching for her. A kind gesture, but highly unnecessary. Kick! Knock him out, okay? Thus, when we arrive in Kingston, I will see to the governor personally to ask for Serena's immediate pardon. As for myself, I have never felt more keen and vigilant and ready to kick some fire at ass with these twin hell-fire cannons. Indeed, sir. Why, you are a mighty frigate of destruction. What? A mighty fr warship of destruction. Yes, a mighty worship of destruction. Oh God, oh God, please don't kill me. I didn't know I was nowhere near Tortuga. You haven't learned to keep your guard up, have you? Olivia. I was merely playing a game. I am Captain Edward Reynolds, master and commander of Vigilance. Serena was right to ask for my protection. Noble gesture, but highly unnecessary. Once Governor Littleton learns of Serena's help in defeating Victor Stagnetti, I'll have no choice but to issue her a full pardon. Don't be foolish, Captain. The governor will never pardon Serena. The king demands that all pirates be washed clean from the seas. My father has close ties with his majesty, and if I ask, the king's justice shall prevail. 
King George wants for the complete extermination of all pirates from fettered trade. This is about commerce, not justice. His Majesty watches over his loyal subjects. Serena shall receive a full pardon. I will do whatever it takes to save Serena and protect this ship. But if you get in my way, I will take the helm. We've been here for over an hour. Keep your voice down. This is the blatant insult of a hero of my stature. My father and I have dined with King George himself. The governor is going to hear my condemnation of his vehement behavior as soon as he arrives, when he ever shows up, if he ever arrives. Do you wish the governor to pardon Serena? Yes. Then silence. Restrain yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, the governor of Jamaica, Baron William Henry Littleton. It's about time. Shh. Welcome. Honored pirate hunters. Who is this lovely creature I see before me? This is my first mate, Commander Jules Steele. And I must say, Governor, it is an honor to be in your presence. You must be one of the most beautiful pirate hunters in all the Caribbean. Indeed, quite possibly one of the most beautiful women in the entire British Empire. I can assure you, Governor, she is also quite deadly. Indeed, her beauty does appear to be quite lethal. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Captain Edward Reynolds at your service. I'm quite aware of your name and rank. Then perhaps when you're done eating her hand. You are quite an exceptionally dashing young man yourself, aren't you? Uh, well, thank you, Governor. The women must be clawing at your hull to get aboard your massive vessel. Well, it is no secret of my allure to women and these mighty guns of steel. Mm-hmm. You are most strong. The men aboard your ship must be in awe and jealousy at your virility and classical beauty. Well, thank you, Governor. I must say you're quite dapper yourself, and you must tell me who's your tailor. Governor, may we speak to you about an urgent matter? Why, yes, of course. Please do sit down. Ah, splendid. I see you have both dined. I hope that you do not mind watching me eat. I have a voracious appetite for food and other mouth-watering desires. How disrespectful of me. I forgot to thank you on behalf of His Majesty for vanquishing Captain Victor Stagnetti. Tell me, just how did you defeat the bastard? It's all about timing. Hmm. You see, the Sea Stallion's guns were malfunctioning. At the precise time the Devil's Rose came along broadside, I was able to fire all the guns. So, you fired the guns yourself during the battle? No, I was at the helm. Ah, so it was your master gunner who saved the day. Please, proceed with what you were saying before. You've issued an arrest warrant for Serena, Captain Stagnetti's first mate. Hmm, marvelous. Can you bring her before me? I... His Majesty is longing to see the infamous Serena hang at the execution docks. We don't have her. What? That's rather odd. I had information she was aboard your ship. Where is she? It's very complicated. You see, she I... She fled when she discovered we were sailing to Kingston. <sighs> hmm. His Majesty will be most displeased. Normally, I would be forced to hang you both for harboring a pirate and worse, allowing her escape. Serena helped kill Victor Signetti. What? Bloody impossible. No, it's true. She abandoned his ship and, and helped us. That's why we're here begging for her pardon. It was with her aid that we were able to defeat the Devil's Rose. Well, I would like to, but my hands are tied by the king. He wants her dead, like Blackbeard and so many others before him. There must be some way His Majesty can forgive Serena. Well, it is possible. Perhaps you could perform a service for His Majesty. What is it? Well, there was a missionary ship with the Archbishop of Canterbury on board and some vital treasure. And it was attacked by some Barbary pirates under the command of a Chinese pirate empress named Zi Feng. His Majesty wants the pirates executed and the treasure, a small blue pearl, returned. We would be honored to do His Majesty's bidding. Well, what is the value of this blue pearl? Mm. No actual value, just sentimental value to the king. Now look here. It is an illustration of Zi Feng's colors. 
The text is Arabic calligraphy. It says there is no God, only Zi Feng. So, you have quite a dangerous little adventure ahead of you, and the night draws on. Why do you not stay here with me the night and rest your bodies? Hell bells and buckets of blood. Thank you, Governor. I would be most honored, but unfortunately, we need to be underway immediately, if not sooner. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Do come again. If we kill these pirates and return the treasure, Governor Littleton will have no choice but to give a full pardon to Serena. Whoa. Yes, Captain. Well, what can you tell me about this Chinese pirate empress? Oh, yes, Captain. She raided by Dragon Queen of the Sea. She is immortal and impossible to kill. Her weakness is Chow Mein. Her weakness is Chow Mein. Yes, Captain. Jules, we're going to need a shitload of Chow Mein. Edward, he's joking. Yeah, just because I'm Chinese doesn't mean I know every Chinese private captain. <laughs> All right. Now, here's the plan. Jules and I did some investigating around town, and we discovered that a ship is leaving tomorrow for one of the last pirate havens on Earth, a small island called Shibalba. Edward and I are going to try to buy passage aboard the vessel tonight. Hopefully, we'll find this pirate empress. How exciting. When do we set sail, Captain? Well, if all goes well, Jules and I will leave in the morning. You, Oxford, Wu, I, and Olivia will stay here and supervise the repairs in the Sea Stallion. You're going to need me. I think it's best you stay behind. Captain, with all due respect, don't you think that my talents modest as they may be, could be best utilized in a covert offensive such as Shibalaba. Oxford. Oxford. You're third in command. What I need from you is for you to stay behind in the Sea Stallion with Wu and supervise the repairs. Captain? Captain. 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 Really? Really? Me? You? <gasps> Captain Oxford. Yes, sir! Thank you, sir! Thank you, sir! Thank you! Yes, yes. Olivia. Guarding the ship. Any luck? Captain Sade with the Red Lakes agreed to give us passage to Shababa Island. How much? 600 pieces of eight. <clears throat> 600 pieces of eight? Might as well just take my right arm. That's ridiculous. That's the only ship selling to Shababa Island. Did you even try and negotiate with this guy? His terms were non negotiable. Captain, just a minute. Captain. What? Have you secured passage yet? I suppose so, but this isn't piracy, Jules. This is pirate rape. What did you expect? Oh, excellent. Yeah, we'll be needing some silver as well, sir. To, to get some men to repair the rudder. How much? No idea. I've got to secure a single estimate for the repairs. Be sure to take the cheapest one. I see. Be frugal, Oxford. This adventure is costing you a fortune. I, Captain. This isn't so bad. No, it could be a lot worse. Yes, actually, I'm getting quite comfortable. Me too. So, the governor was not only a rotomatic, but an arrogant fool as well. How oh, dare he have the audacity to question my command? What would he know of the heat of battle? He wasn't there. If he wasn't for the fact that he was governor, I would have crossed blades with him right then. Calm down. There's no need to get yourself worked up. I should have left as soon as he issued his first insult. I should have... I... I'm a fraud. 
Oh my god, I'm a fraud. Everybody knows it. Olivia Oxford. Oh, Lord, help me. What's wrong? Oh god, I'm dying. Oh, this is it. Oh, Lord, I'm coming. My light's flashing before my eyes. I fucked my retarded cousin. Oh, Lord, help me. I'm coming. Edward, you're not dying. Okay, breathe. You're just having one of your panic attacks. And just breathe. What are you doing? I'm breathing. Breathe with me now. There, there. Good. Come on. Feeling better? Yeah. No. Edward, what's wrong? Oh, God, the governor was right. I don't know what I'm doing in battle. Who saved us? Not I. I'm a coward. Nonsense. You were absolutely courageous. I'm an idiot. What are you talking about? You fought off all those deadly warrior skeletons. Fought one. I was tangled up with him the whole time. I'm an idiot. You're not an idiot. You're the great captain who led us to victory. We had two alternatives out there. To die or survive. He survived because of you, Edward. Oxford, Blue, Serena, all believed in your strength. Just look at it. It's there. Don't ever second guess your strength. Jules? Yes? Thank you for being an extraordinary friend. No need to thank me. We're family. Are. Jules? Yes? I gotta pee. Okay, go before you pee on me. Did you say you had sex with your retarded cousin? Man the boarding hooks and battle axes. No bloody pirates will ever board this vessel. The first tasting the sword of Captain. Oxford, Buckingham. I, I, I'm sorry, I. Ooh, what the devil are you doing here, man? I think I has thrown away. What do you think that? She got out of her iron and escaped. We need to fire her. Ooh, it's late. We need some rest. Then we'll get some men and we'll fix this rudder. Fine, I will go alone. All right, I'm coming. Perhaps we should bring Olivia. She gone too. for the Devil's Circus. What's next? Next. Next, we split up. We'll be able to cover more ground that way. In an hour, I'll meet you at that temple right there. Aye. Commander, be vigilant. You as well. delight to satisfy your all very perverted yeah. desire. Let's start the bidding at 20 pieces of eight. Come on, matey bros. This is a fine and sturdy woman. She'll be able to handle a good popping and then so. 20 pieces of eight. This one looks like a bargain to me, matey. Yeah, I feel like a woman with lots and lots of curves. You mean if I was a whale hunter, I'd be in heaven, eh? Hey, matey. Okay, matey bros. I'm gonna give you once in a lifetime deal. Fifteen pieces of eight. I order for fifteen pieces of eight for her. Now, okay, fifteen. Do I hear sixteen? Aye, sixteen. Yeah, now you're bidding, matey bro. Do I hear seventeen? Seventeen? Sixteen going once. Sixteen going twice. Sold to the wee pirate. <laughs> Congratulations, little bro. Next, 
We have this exquisite jewel up for sale. Here she is, kidnapped all the way from Paris, France. I bring you young Anne, matey bros. This lassie sounds like the creme de la creme, eh, matey? She's exquisite. Could I trouble you to describe her beauty to me, me, me being a poor old blind man? Oh. Oh! Oh, uh -huh. no problem. She has long golden locks with shot black hair. Oh, me likes a black widow. <laughs> uh, how's her skin? Me don't be wanting any blemishes. And I won't be tolerating an oily fish face either. You're a tough customer. Me likes what me likes. Go on! Well, her skin is white, smooth, and creamy. Mm. There's not a blemish on it. <laughs> Wait. There's a mole. <laughs> How about her breasts? Are they flapjacks, raisins, or a flapjack with a big raisin on top? <laughs> I'm afraid you've, you've lost me on that one. Matey bros, we're gonna start the bidding at 50 pieces of eight. But sir, could I trouble you to bid for me? Uh, yes. Great, no problem. Yeah, so, by the way, have you heard of a Chinese pirate empress by the name of Zai Ping? You be looking for trouble, eh? Always. Well, I've heard of her, but... but the tech will be acquainted with you. Many yeah! says I! Ah, 50, do I hear 60? 60! Oh, yeah! well done! Do I hear 70? Go on, 70! 70! 70! Uh, 70. Uh, Who's tech for? 80! Do I hear 90? You must be new around these waters. 90, go 90! Oh, just bad with names, that's all. Uh, 90! 100! 120! 130, 130! And that be tech for a slave girl you'd be bitten on! Oh, that tech I thought you meant a different tech war. Uh, 130! <laughs> 200! Motherfucker! 300! <laughs> 400. No, no, I haven't got that kind of silver. Don't worry, I've got it covered. 500. Oh, oh, five. Six. No, you're bidding like kings. Do I hear 700? 700. 733. Oh, this is ridiculous. 1,000. Are you crazy, matey? One thousand pieces of eight. Wait here, one thousand ten. One thousand ten? One thousand going once. One thousand going twice. Sold to my handsome friend. It scum, you pirate scurvy scabby scoundrel. <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. You get the best that silver can buy. By the way, I don't see any large sack of silver for me. Well, I've got a large sack for you. Easy, bro. But it's not silver. More than enough to cover the bin. How do you know that my favorite color was gold? Uh, just a hunch, I guess. I'm Tagbora. You may have heard of me. Not really, bro. Armenian gold Tagbor? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. No matter. What is your name? My name? Oh, my name. Oh, my name's Jackson. Stone Cold Jackson. I may have heard of you. Were you the one who found Captain Morgan lost gold? That was I. It was I that found Captain Morgan's lost golds. Come, let me give you your pretty sex slave. It'd be my pleasure to have you as my guest of honor. Come into my solid gold tent palace. There will be girls. Meat. And wrong, matey bro. It would be my pleasure, sir.
So you've already met the mind C4 of Yan Luang. I am known as Dai Feng, and you are? The Pirate Empress. That's not what I asked. You can call me the King's Law. There is no law here. Drop it! You see, Pirate Hunter, there's only piracy in Chibalba. This way, Wu. It's a bad idea. It doesn't look like Happy Alley. Oh, don't be silly. That's perfectly happy. Okay. You know, Wu, I've been thinking. Perhaps you could give Ai a wider berth. Let her do as she pleases a little bit. Then she might not feel so inclined to go running off like this. You don't know nothing. She's my little happy sister. I protect her, keep even from herself. She might not be as little as you think she is. Besides, we need to be concentrating on repairing the sea stallion and not out wandering these wretched alleyways. Don't blame on me. This is what's your idea. Yourself. I might be thinking you'd be lost, eh? Oh, yeah. I do wish you'd tell me the truth. You will die before the story ends. All my life, that is the truth. You like him? All the Chinese emperors use this creature to maintain obedience among the closest men to them. All the emperor guards were forced to drink from it to prevent assassination. <laughs> now, what is your name and why are you here? Alone in the dark, maybe? Because darkness has enveloped my soul and extinguished the everlasting light of love. You're still carrying that burned out torch for that dead whore. What you need is to blast your pistol on a young maid, matey. You're right, Bernard. You're absolutely right. But let me ask you just a question. Do you see any women here in the bar? Okay. No. There's no women here. You know why? because they all went to Tartuga, which is where I told you we needed to go in the first place, okay? Tartuga. Everybody's in Tartuga. Never you mind, Tartuga. I've got you a young, exotic devil harlot you never find in Tartuga. She make all your happy come out. <laughs> where? Where is she? Bring her in, matey. <laughs> You all want more massage, Big B? Hi, later, <laughs> little devil. First, give me Captain Marco here. A touch of those devil hands. <laughs> you know who I am? Bernard said you Marco. And did Bernard say that I was a murderer? You don't look like a murderer. I kill men for gold. That's okay. A lot of people do that. I just want to make you happy come out. I kill women too. If it burn one alive. Why you do that? She, she broke my heart. Oh, you poor little panda bird. I am a poor little panda bird. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs>
to break that thing and run it out of here when we showed up. Right. Right. Edward. Yes? Let's go. Let's go. You! She's with me. Edward, what were you doing in there? You could have been eaten alive. Wasn't exactly by choice. And by the way, I was kicking ass. It's dangerous here. We need to return to my ship. Wait a minute. I need answers. I need answers now. All right. Slow me down. You brought me another devil in the flesh. What mean you, matey? This squinty-eyed devil is more squinty-eyed than that she-devil you brought me before. Aye, and you see her? Where is she? The devil speaks in tongues. I don't know what he says. I'm not a devil. I'm from China, you idiot. China's another name for hell. <laughs> no, 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 no. China's another country. It's in the Far East, near India. Oh, Shut but... your mouth, devil servant. <laughs> Please, sir. I, I'm no servant of the devil, nor of Wu. Actually, currently, I'm acting captive. Hold oh, your tongue, or I'll be cutting it off, says I. A captain will have no use for these, nor will I. But you said if we brought you a couple of crewmen, it'd settle our debt with the captain. You think, crewman, this is the devil and his man-lusting devil servant. However, I'll make a deal with you. You can kill them both, and I'll see that your debt is paid. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't go marooning yourself again, mateys. No, we need to talk about this harlot you gave me. Hi! Are you alive? Woo! What are you doing here? Hey, who's woo? Woo is devilese for devil. It was like Siphon controlled her mind or something. She wasn't my beloved Jules. She was. Helms woman, make way for open water. Aye. What does Siphon want with Jules? Siphon? Siphon seeks stagnity. What? He's dead. I know. Seems absolutely ludicrous. But so are undead skeleton warriors. And I've seen them too. How do you know stagnity? I was forced along with Serena to join his crew or die. So I did. Until I was betrayed and imprisoned. Sorry. Accepted. Scepter. The scepter gives him the protective powers of evil. If we don't get to Victor before Zai Feng does, no man will. I am no ordinary man. I defeated him before, and I will defeat him again. Are you prepared to go up against Satan's will? I am the captain who changes the wind of destiny. It is my will that will end this conflict now and forever. Do you have any cannons?
Fagnetti took my sister away in the middle of the night. And the last I heard, she was sold as a sex slave to some pirate named Armenian Gold. Oh. Oh. I see. You see nothing. I will not rest until my sister is home safe. I've spent the last three years hunting Stagnetti. What makes you think that you have a chance catching him? Because I caught him before, and if I have to, I'll do it again. Is that so? Word around the Caribbean is that your master gunner is the one who sunk the Devil's Rose. A vicious lie, contrived by my jealous adversaries. It was my orders who sunk the Devil's Rose. I defeated Stagnetti and nobody else. Just watch, you'll see my glory. We shall see. Calaveras Island. Captain Stagnetti lies within the waters beneath us. It's so small, but so powerful. It was first captured by the Spanish in an ancient Incan temple. The Incans believe that the pearl has the power to honor one's deepest desires. King George ordered the Archbishop to return it to England personally. The Mad King wants to use it to find sunken treasures. It's a shame that it will be lost forever. man to the bottom of the void, having bring the Dark Emperor to me. Asad, come forth! Asad! 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 Step aside, Poseidon. It's time for darkness to reign upon the sea. Blackheart has been reborn from the sea. Really? I don't see anything. His presence infects me. My sword shall be my medicine. You think Jules is still alive? 
No matter, this isn't just about killing Victor for my own peace. It's about vengeance for the thousands of innocents who died by his sword and mine. This must end. Serena left the seas, Diane, to protect Jules' life. Are you willing to sacrifice her life for his? Too many have been burned, tortured, murdered, and raped because of my apathy. You've walked away from the darkness. Cleanse your hands of evil. My hands are stained. My soul is stained with the blood of good hearts. Would you have the innocent blood of jewels on your hands as well? Favor. The odds will change, Captain. You can rest assured of that. It's not the sea stallion. The sea stallion is in port for repairs. Captain Riddles may have chartered another ship. Very good. She swallowed the bait, Sandra. The sea will soon swallow her. I met some good friends while I was down in hell. <laughs> Supernatural ship. Why can't I fight against a good old pirate with a wooden leg and an eye patch and a hook for a hand? Those only exist in fairy tales. That ghost ship's on a head-on collision course with us. <laughs> Stun guns, my angel. No. Let's see what me dead mates can do with them. They're going to be bored and bored with us. All hands on deck, ready for battle. Do you think maybe we'll get lucky and they'll sail right past us? Now, Edward, you know that wouldn't be any fun. Fine. I just want to fight something. It's not dead already. They are dead. So when you're fighting, try not to get your sword tangled. The captain, I don't get my sword tangled. Helms woman, keep sailing towards Zai Bing's ship. I'm gonna be bored and bored with her. Aye, aye, Captain! Master, she'll be bored and bored soon. Good. Let her. Prepare your men for battle. As you wish. Prepare for battle! You're going to let them board? What do you think?
Now, this is getting fucking ridiculous. Where do you think you're going? I'm not fighting this thing. I'll be right back. First bones, now a giant aqua squid. What an ass pirate. you I knew where they'd be! Give another shot of Hellfire, Wu! Not until you promised to marry my sister! Your captain is about to get eaten by a giant sea squid! Now's not the time to talk about this, Wu! He's coming right at us! Wu, reload the guns! Wu! Wu, can you hear me? I can hear you! What are you doing up here on the deck? Get down there and load those guns! I need to marry her first. Yeah, agree, marry me. Okay, I'll marry her. You promise? Yes, I'll even marry you, Wu. Now go down there and load those weapons. Okay. You better not lie to me. For the love of God, will you please go down there and load the cannons? You don't have to yell. What kind of crazy family am I marrying into? A family of Pandora. <laughs> devils, you be marrying into devils. Celebration done at David Trent's locker, and you are the guest of honor. Enjoy the festivities. You first. I usually like to arrive fashionably late. Give my regards to David J., you fucking bitch. <laughs> Jules, what are you doing? Obeying my master. Well done, my slave. Now open her up and drink her blood. As you wish, master.
Regret is a horrifying ghost that lingers with you till you become a ghost yourself. I know. I should have slit your throat the night you betrayed me. This is my deepest regret. And I regret that I didn't stay to ensure you suffered a horrifying end. I would have loved to watch the prison rats chew the flesh from your bones as you gazed into my hateful eyes. Don't fall asleep. I want you to watch your friend suffer from my blade while I drink your blood. And that'll be your last bite, Sea Dog. Ah, listen to the rich boy who hasn't even seen a pirate before our last encounter. He speaks like a hardened sea warrior. Yeah, you didn't find that scepter. Would have killed you the first time. Oh, I doubt that, Edward. Seriously, Your tactical maneuvers are embarrassingly novice, Edward. A ten-year-old cabin boy could have commanded that ship far better than you. Maybe, but I still sunk your vessel. You were adrift. However, there will be no saving grace from your master, Gunner. This time! <laughs> You know, Edward, you are an inadequate swordsman. And... Oh, Edward. How does it feel, Edward? Feel, Victor? How does it feel? Knowing you were killed by the greatest pirate hunter that ever lived. How's it feel? Jules! Jules, are you alive? Jules! Jules! If you don't stop slapping me, Edward, I'm gonna kick you in the balls. Jules, you're alive. <sighs> Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. I mean, Olivia. You're welcome. What? Edward, what are you doing here? Why? I just saved your life. In both of your lives. Not that anyone noticed. Really? I don't remember that. I did the most courageous thing in my whole life, and no one even knows. I believe it was very courageous. But can we go home? How could Edward save the day when Woo is not around, hmm? Well, let me tell you. I killed Victor Stagnetti. He's dead. I believe you. You don't? Don't believe me? You must have fallen overboard. We did it. We certainly did, Oxford. Me so happy. Okay, what did I tell you about clinging to me while I'm piloting my ship? I your baby panda. I crave. Okay, listen. When this battle's over, we're going over proper battle protocol. Do you understand me? I have baby panda rep for you. Off me. I love you. Get off me. I love you. You need mint tea. Feeling better, Commander? Ship shape, Captain. I don't know how to thank you. No need to thank me. We're family. 
Aye, Captain. You did it. Oh, the stagnity thing. Nothing really. Defeating the most vicious pirate the world has ever known. Again, child's play. All in a day's work. I'm proud of you. You were very brave. You may enter. Captain, may we have a word with you for a moment? Yay, you may. I was just writing a letter of thank you for Governor Littleton to give to the king. I wanted to apologize for doubting you. You're truly a brave sea warrior. Brave? I merely did what was necessary. That makes me just a man. Beautiful man. I won't argue with you there. I wish to thank you for saving my life. I will always be in your debt, Captain. It was nothing. And when we return to Kingston and Governor Littleton bestows upon Serena full pardon, then you can thank me properly. Yes, Kingston. Yes, about Kingston. What about Kingston? I was hoping we could hold off on going to Kingston for a bit. We need to get back to Shibaba Island now. Shibaba? Before? I have reason to believe that my sister is being held prisoner there. We made a decision. We sail directly to Kingston and then we go back to Shibaba. Edward, I've already told you. Governor Littleton will never pardon Serena. Let's get to Kingston. We can rectify the situation. Why don't you let us rectify the situation? And you get us to Shibaba Island. What if the Royal Navy finds Serena first? Serena's fine. Besides, we always have you to protect her. Look at these mighty guns of glory. Yes, I am a mighty frigate of destruction. We need to go back to Shibaba, Edward. My sister needs you. How could I possibly turn down three beautiful women in need? However, something doesn't feel right. I remember coming on to me and saying you want me in your mouth and your anus. There you go telling stories again. You practically raped me. Right. Why would I lie about that? Maybe you could tell me the secrets of your gunpowder. I don't teach my secrets to the white devil. Touche. For stabbing me, Blackheart. Report to the helm. Your orders, Captain. Keep sailing until we see the fires of hell itself. Until heaven unleashes its light upon the darkness of evil. Heading, Captain. Back to Shebulba Island. We've got a sister to rescue. Steady as she goes, Commander. Steady as she goes. 